Now let's create the game version of the medallion in the front here. And so you can see here, this is basically a cylinder and all of this detail we can get with a normal map. The problem is we want to also be able to get this silhouette, which includes a lot of up and down. And so we need to try to get something that is optimized here where we don't have a lot of geometry knowing that we're going to get a lot of the detail with a map, but also we need some geometry here to be able to get the silhouette. So let's see how we can do this. If you have geometry left from your Maya geometry from a previous course, for instance, we have one here, but this doesn't have any of the creation nodes. And so I want to be able to have very specific control over the division. So I'm actually going to create a new one. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to create a cylinder and I want to bring it up into position. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to start by rotating at 90 degrees. I know it's not at 90 degrees here. We're going to have to rotate it a little bit, but I want to get close. I'll increase the radius. And then I just want to put it into position and sort of get it exactly where this one is. And so radius looks pretty good. Maybe go to 10. Move it in here. Let's rotate it slightly to where it's, you can see kind of the same amount there. We can also play with the height. So I'm going to come down to kind of the height of those raised areas. And if I remember right, I believe that there are 72. When I sculpted this, there were 72 uh, raised areas all the way around. So I had the symmetry set to 72. So what that means is I'm going to try to set these subdivisions to 72. And let's see if that works. And so let me take the radius and I'm going to temporarily take it down a little bit. And so what I want to do is rotate this so that the lines are between all of these dots and looking around, if I'm off at all, you'll see at some point the lines will start to not be in the center. They'll be kind of in the middle of them. But if I'm right on, it should be in the center all the way around and it actually looks good. So let me take my radius down to like the lower point here, kind of right down here, maybe 9.65 or some, something like that. All right. Now you can see here where it's kind of rotated. So I'm actually going to mimic that a little bit. I'm going to take this line here and let me turn off symmetry for a second. And I'm going to take this front edge and I'm just going to rotate it a little bit. And I'm going to double click on this back edge and rotate it a little bit rotate a little bit more and so something like that so it actually follows along with the angle there now i also can come in here and i have rotated this so if i go in and add things now it's going to mess that up and so i want to go ahead and select the faces on the front here and so let's i'm going to go through and select all the faces here and then from the side i'm going to deselect any of the faces on the back. So I just want the front. Now I'm going to hit control E to extrude and let me turn off and let me go in now and just scale this and I'm going to scale it down so that we get a line right where that raised area starts. Okay. So something like that. Now I'm going to extrude again and this time I'm going to pull it out with no divisions and then we can again go to scale. And I'm just going to scale this down again. So it's kind of fits that deal. Okay. And now we can raise up these areas on the rim. And so I'll go ahead and select all of these control E to extrude. Let's turn off, keep faces together. And then we'll add a little bit of thickness kind of out to the top part of that. So maybe 0.38 or so I'll kind of dial this down until I'm just get a hint of the top there. Let's turn off the divisions. We can also take our offset and let's do 0.1 or something like that. Maybe a little bit more we can go maybe 0.2, something similar to that. So here we, we have the silhouette that we want, but then we also have a ton of extra geometry, right? We don't need all of these lines. We need them out here. We don't need them in here. And so what we can do is actually consolidate our points. And so let's just start right here and I'm going to select two of these and I'm going to do a merge. Okay. And then I'm going to select the next two and hit G to repeat that. I'm going to jump over, click these two and these two, 
and I'm just going to work my way around like this. And as long as we do it evenly, we'll still have a nice round shape in the center, which is what we want. Make sure we've got both of these selected. And we're just going to work our way around. Okay, so now we've come down from this outer resolution to a lower resolution inside here. Now we could keep going as well. We could come in and start to take these and merge these together. Again, just coming and doing every other one here all the way around like that. And you could even start to merge these together as well. You wanted to, you felt like you were not getting too much faceting. I think I'm actually going to leave that. So depending on, you know, the, the edge that you want to get there, you can dial that down. So that'll let you get a little bit of a lower resolution. Let's go ahead and delete our history. And so we can use that for our low res piece. I'm going to go ahead and soften the normals, soften the edges, and then we will be able to use that to create our map from. All right. So now that we've got our medallion, the next thing we'll do is to go ahead and retopo the horns. So we'll do that next.